June, it's a glorious day and I'm here at York's Apollo Festival. Festival goers here will be able to enjoy four stages of music plus a large number of stalls and attractions and caterers provided by some of York's finest local businesses. So behind me is the access to music tent which gives young upcoming people a chance to showcase their talents. Plus a full fairground behind me and a whole day of activities free for kids with a free kid zone, open air theatres for children and the annual Hay Bale Fight. Boy Swirl, aka Mitch Parkinson, nine years old, and he's won Ainsley's Got Talent this year. Hi, Mitch, how are you doing? Uh, I'm brilliant, thanks. It's brilliant, that's what we like to hear. The sun is shining, it's a glorious day here at Apollo Festival. Are you excited to take to the main stage? I can't wait. You can't wait. And, and, and Mitch, you won Ainsley's Got Talent this year. How did that feel? It felt, it felt amazing. I couldn't believe it. You couldn't believe it, it felt amazing. Act is beatboxing and breakdancing combined together. Wow, that is amazing. I tell you what, Mitch, thank you for coming on and enjoy the rest of your day. Dodgy are an English power pop rock trio which rose to fame and prominence during the Britpop era of the 1990s. They are best known for their hits, Staying Out in the Summer, If You're Thinking of Me, and Good Enough. I managed to catch up with Dodgy backstage and this is what they had to say. Backstage here at Apollo Festival with Nigel from Dodgy. How are you doing Nigel? Good afternoon. I'm How, pretty well. Having a good time? Indeed. Just arrived here backstage? Yeah, just arrived. Do, do you know, some of your earlier hits, like staying out for summer and obviously good enough, like you've got some prolific singers. Some of them songs that, and, and, and some bands yes, all sound that. the same, but with your band, that all the songs tend to vary, not agree. They tend to vary. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot I, of different sort of genres of music in yeah, different Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very open to music, so I think, um, you know, I've got very, very wide variety of music that I draw from as a, as a creative. Either. I'm guessing with you guys as a band in the early 90s especially, you would have had to have worked very hard to get to where you are today. Yeah, we rehearsed, we used to work for like six hours a day for a whole summer in our own garage rehearsal studios. Before we even got signed, we were very, we were going somewhere, we didn't know where, but we just, knew it was going to we did, so yeah, yeah, we were all on the dole, we were all working part time, but we all lived together and, and um, we, we managed to be able to have that living existence that afforded us the time to spend in the room, in the rehearsal room, like say six hours a day, crashing it out, but then I'd go off and write some songs, get better at that. Everything has been an improvement in life. Life is an improvement. You might be bad at the start, but you'll get better. Words of wisdom there from Nigel from Dodgy. You've mentioned the new album coming out with Dodgy. What other festivals? Can we look forward to seeing you at this year? Um, that's a good question. We're playing, um, we're playing the one in um, Kendall, Kendall Calling. Kendall Calling. Yeah, we've just done Isle of Wight, which was brilliant. It's such an amazing festival. I really enjoyed the Isle of Wight. Well done for everybody that put the Isle of Wight. Oh, yes. Great. Yeah, that's what he's figure as, as well as a rock star. Nigel from Dodgy, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nice you. Enjoy your in 2015, McCabe launched his solo career with the release of his debut album, Church of Miami. I managed to catch up with Dave and this is what he had to say. So I'm sitting here backstage at York's Apollo Festival with the one, the only, the very legendary, formerly Ooh. Zootons frontman, Dave McCabe, here with his brand new band, Dave McCabe and the Ramifications. How are you doing, Dave? Well, it's... Bit, bit tongue-tied, there we go. <laughs> You've had, so had a excited, long journey. You know. And he's here in Yorkshire with us today at York's Apollo Festival. Have you been to Yorkshire before? Yeah. Yeah? yeah Good they, crowd? Uh... It, yeah, it was sound, yeah. The last time I was here was with my beard and um, I accidentally told her I loved her. You accidentally I'm, told I'm, her? I'm romantic you know, stuff. That's very romantic. Yeah, but I felt like a tick because she didn't tell me back. She was a bit on So, um, what have we got new from you then this year? Have we got any tours upcoming or...? Uh, no, we're just doing a few more gigs and then I'm just going to carry on writing. Because you've uh, got a debut album out, I believe, Church of Miami. Yeah, it was out yeah. here last year. Oh, so last that's year. kind of coming to a finish. Coming to a finish. Yeah, Are you yeah. excited to get on the stage here at York Apollo Festival? Yeah, yeah, yeah and I'm excited, yeah. Sun Can't shining. Well, right. I'm looking forward to playing, yeah. I've never done this festival before, as far as I know. I don't think I have, no. You haven't? Not even with the Zootons? No, not with the Zootons. Not with the no. Zootons. In fact, Dave McCabe, absolute pleasure. Thank you. Dave McCabe here Stay at York Apollo Festival. 
Alabasta, an English rock band from Liverpool, forming in 1992 by John Power and Peter Wilkinson. Post Stone Roses and the Lars cast are definitely a fantastic band, and I managed to catch a few words with the guys backstage here at Apollo Fest. I'm sat backstage with John from Kent. How are you, John? I'm all right, thank you very much. The sun is shining, it's a glorious day. It is, isn't it? Are you, are you ready to rock and roll? Well, I'm always ready to rock and roll. Have you recently been on tour? We have been touring, and that's yeah. right. I'm recording a new album. Right. So there's a new album in the process? It's, you know, it's finished, it's going to come out in October. In October? Kicking up the dust. Kicking up the dust, what a great title. Oh, right, thanks, Phil, thank you. And, uh, yeah, we have got a single called Do That. Which hopefully it's going to come out in the end of summer. Like, you know, Amazing. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think in, we live in a world don't we where you know there's a lot of hate yeah seems to be at the top of everyone fear and hate and, and, and scaremongering and it's all yes, wrong so and people should share the love and come together they should in solidarity would you they not agree? should i would solidarity all the way yeah that's right great talking with you john and i all hope right. you have a fantastic time i yeah, know the good. crowd are really really looking forward well, we'll to it well we look forward to it when we come on you know we'll be, we'll be doing our thing yeah John from Cast here at York Apollo Festival. Thank you. So I'm currently backstage here at Apollo Festival 2016 with the fantastic Jacobins. How's it going, guys? All right. Fantastic. Good. What fantastic. a great performance! You've just come off the main stage, absolutely rocked it. And what a year it's been for you guys. It's quite exciting. It's been a very exciting year. Yeah, and more exciting things to come. Can be revealed right now, but uh, more exciting things yeah, to come. What we've got? A, a new album, maybe? Some new singles? Yeah, we've got a couple of new singles, a couple of uh, big gigs. You know, a few announcements like that. A few um, announcements. So what, 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 what can you tell our viewers? What festivals have you got to look forward to coming up this year? Uh, well, what I can reveal is uh, Glass Butter Beach, Blackthorn, uh, Tram Lines. It's going to be at Tram Lines and Glass Butter Beach Festival this year. <laughs> wow, that is magnificent as well. Yeah, we thought about calling well, You've, you've, you've like heard classes. of the Kung Fu Panda, now you've got the Boxing Raccoon here with the Jacobins <laughs> at Apollo <laughs> Festival. How about it's that? The it's Cinema Soon, yeah. <laughs> The Rocky from Liverpool. Raccoon from Liverpool. There we go, Rocky Raccoon. So, you guys, how can we find out more information about upcoming festivals and events with you? Uh, well, we can sign up to a mailing list. You can go on uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, official website, Instagram. Official website. What, what, uh, what's the link for that? It'll be www.jacobins.co.uk www.jacobins.co.uk It's currently under construction well, and Facebook and Twitter just the Jacobins yes. isn't it? Yes, the You've got the old blue tick against your name as well. Yeah, we've well, got the blue, we're real people. We've got real people. You definitely we're know real you're real. We're, we're not the, the false tick. Jacobins though. No, <laughs> yeah. We are the real you're Jacobins. You're not the unofficial Jacobins. Yeah, we're, 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 the, the, we're the real deal. The real, the real deal. deal. Guys, thank you ever so much. Thank Cheers. Enjoy the rest of your day here in Yorkshire. Thank you. Love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Apollo yeah. Festival. I'm currently sat with Apollo Junction. Hey guys, how's it going? Hello, thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Just performed on Rick Witter's premiere stage. How was that? Amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it went really well. Ace crowd and loved it. Yeah. Fantastic. Wish we could get back on there now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we like, a bit of enthusiasm here at Apollo Festival. You're having a good time? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, do you know, we came last year and to be back and yeah, do you know, it's such a good crowd. It's always, you know, loads of people enjoying themselves and yeah, do you know, it's amazing. So, and that yeah. junction, what's new, what's new with you guys? What's coming up in the future? Wow, well, what's new, we've just been uh, gigging relentlessly. Yeah. Yeah. Gigging relentlessly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, uh, two weeks ago at the Isle of Wight. Uh, last you week. You performed at the Isle of Wight We did, we did Isle of Wight. Oh, you've been to the Isle of Wight. Yeah, 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 it was fantastic. And then we are at a festival last week. We're here today and we're playing, um, we're spotting Shed 7. You support in Shed so 7, wow. We yeah. put the stage to uh, spot in Shed 7. And whereabouts is so. that tour taking you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, that's taking us uh, onto commentary um, and yeah, so it's, 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 it's a, a nationwide sneaky. tour pretty much. Uh, they're doing a few oh, yeah. around and about um, and yeah, it's a pleasure to be there. Well, so. it is a pleasure, they're sort of indie icons, uh, you know, yeah, in, yeah. indie, indie ref veterans Absolutely. Of, of the 90s Brit pop fans, era. Yeah. I meant to be here with Cass today and Dodgy and Cass, Dodgy, all these brilliant bands. And Dave yeah. McCabe with the Zootons, it's been a great day yeah. here at Apollo Festival and uh, for Apollo Junction it's a great great name to tie in with the festival. Yeah. Do you know it's nice that we named it after us. So. <laughs> named it after you, <laughs> dedicated <laughs> to you. And how can we have a website? We do, um, apolloduction.com uh, yeah, so and tour dates and events I guess we'll be posted you know, on that. Right. We have uh, loads of gigs coming up and loads going on and we're making a, doing an album at the same time and 
Yeah, we're busy. Oh, there's an Very album busy. in the process, is there? Yeah, we're yeah. just going to start it. Um, how long will it take? We don't know, but we are, we are getting the foundations in place. So. The foundations are in place for an album, yeah. so watch out upcoming stars of the future. Apollo Junction, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, thank very you guys. Much. Oh, thank That's you. It. So I've had a magnificent time here at York's Apollo Festival this year and if you want more information and to grab tickets for next year you can go to www.apollofestival.co.uk or make sure you check out social